Some questions are hard because you have to do a lot of work, but others just seem hard because you have to look at things differently. And for an example, let's look at the classic question of why people spend millions of dollars on weird paintings. The gentleman's bid here at 69 million. There have been a lot of attempts to explain this, but not a lot of satisfying answers. At first glance, we might think that there should somehow be millions of dollars of quality in the picture. But of course, pranksters have mixed famous paintings with kids' drawings, and people can't tell the difference. Even art critics get fooled all the time by forgeries, so that's probably not it. On second glance, it might be foolishness. Maybe the people involved are just empty and shallow. But I'd say no, because these deals happen all the time. People might throw away a million dollars on something once, but not over and over. In those cases, it's almost certain that they're getting something. So let's try a third. If you know your economics, you might say that these are scarce things. More people want them than can have them. So they have to compete for them, which raises the price. But what are they actually competing for? Something to see? You can look at the image on Google in seconds. But nonetheless, these prices stay high. So clearly, there's some special value here, which we should try to see. So far, people have found side things that show up with these deals, but what's actually causing them? What's the one thing that's never missing? That's the key. And let me tell you what I found. Happiness in our brains does not come from any one situation. It comes when our situation gets better. It's there to make us keep striving. And this creates a weird situation when it comes to people who already have what they want in life. If you're coming from a high energy place, it's hard to change upwards. It's very easy to change downwards. Especially people who are rich because they hit a point where it's hard to improve. And so it actually becomes almost impossible for them to be happy. It may not seem like it, but this is a very real situation. You are the best skater you've ever been to date, making the most money you've ever made to date, yet you were severely depressed. If you're not going to do drugs, then it's like a game that you finished. You have to find new achievements to unlock, or you'll go crazy. And the way to do that is to surpass your peers, the people who are at the top with you. But how? How do you do that when they also have unlimited money? Well, the answer is to show better taste, to spend your money on higher quality things. But they can still copy you if you do. And so you have to get things that are one of a kind. And what is both highly respected and unique? That's right, art and memorabilia. There's a lot of things rich dudes buy to just prove that who's this is bigger. That's exactly and what I'm trying to say. Once a one of a kind object gets that reputation, sometimes due to its quality or its attention or the story around it, it becomes a special status symbol with the power to give a hit of happiness to people who already have everything. And that is the magical thing that's worth millions of dollars. $89 million. Just a second, sure. <laughs> and this is another example of how the ideas we talk about here work. The brain processes a whole group of things and gives us one feeling, where we don't recognize the source and often get it wrong. But when we see it properly, we can start to understand stuff like this and a lot of other strange things. If you found this interesting, subscribe, share it, and thanks.